how exactly is Fortnite Season 4 going to transition us into Chapter 2 OG? Now, as you guys know, after this season, we're going to be going all the way back to Chapter 2 and experiencing the first three seasons of that chapter over again. But with this brand new season and the brand new Marvel theme, how exactly is this going to work? I mean, we have all these superheroes on the map. They're having this war over control over Pandora's box. How are we going to end up all the way back on the Chapter 2 map is a question a lot of people have been asking. Now, there's tons of theories including a time machine possibly being created or being at the center of Pandora's box, but it's exactly why we are going back to chapter two that still is boggling some people's minds, and here is my theory. If you guys haven't noticed, in the Fortnite Battle Royale chapter five season four trailer, Fortnite says in the description, become the heroes first on the scene to defend against Marvel's Doctor Doom and his forces or take up the mantle of villainy and join the reign of doom. So much like in chapter two season two, where we had the option between Ghost and Shadow, we may have the option of choosing Jonesy and Hope over Dr. Doom and Mysterio. Now let's just say all the way at the end of this season, it looks like Dr. Doom and his forces are actually going to win power over Pandora's box and whatever he wants to do with the Fortnite Island. Who exactly is going to come to save us or what are we going to do? I mean, this guy is super duper powerful and if he's beating us already with all of these Marvel characters, how in the world are we going to defeat him? And that is the essential question. We literally aren't going to be able to. Now, if you guys noticed, in the chapter 5 season 4 trailer, there's a lot of innuendos to Iron Man. Now you guys may or may have not saw this in the chapter 5 season 4 trailer, but as you can see here, a new version of Hope is holding the old Iron Man energy rifle that we saw all the way back in chapter 2 season 4, and how in the world did this get here? Iron Man is supposedly not anywhere on the map and has nothing to do with anything that has happened this chapter, so how in the world did she get a weapon like that? And also here, just a few scenes later, Later, when we're seeing the showcase of Shuri and her brand new mythic, there's an Iron Man punching bag over to the left, insinuating that there is something that Iron Man is doing on this map, or maybe they're just really big fans. But this next scene tells us that Iron Man is 100% involved in this brand new season in some way, because right here, Gwenpool is using Iron Man's old repulsor and also the Unibeam to attack the enemy. How in the world would these weapons get here and why is there any symbolism towards Iron Man in this season? That is a really good question. Now my personal theory right now is that Magneto was not actually the one constructing those Stark beams last season. It was actually Iron Man. Maybe Iron Man is on the map in some way and has been helping Magneto create them. Maybe he's at the center of everything that's going on here. And the reason why we even have all of these abilities in the first place is because of Iron Man. Now, now, technically, Marvel may have not wanted Iron Man to be involved in the build-up to next season because he is switching from his role of Iron Man over to Doctor Doom. That's going to be his new main role, if you guys don't know, is Doctor Doom in the new Marvel Doomsday movie. So they may not have want Iron Man and Doctor Doom on the map at the same time or in the story at the same time. So Tony Stark or Iron Man could possibly be in the shadows helping out the people who are fighting against Doom, but not actually showing up in the forefront of everything. He could be coming to save us. He could be maybe one of the people that helped Magneto contact all of these characters, and maybe he is secretly supplying us with all of these weapons to help defend the island against Doctor Doom. I mean, that makes the most sense. Iron Man worked alongside Doctor Doom and understands how he works all the way back in Chapter 2 Season 4 when they defended the island against Galactus, so he would be the perfect person to help fight against Doctor Doom this season. It makes so much sense. Now, because Iron Man isn't actually on the forefront and isn't on the battleground helping us defend the island, it could end up not being enough. These characters could not be strong enough to fight against Doctor Doom, and maybe Doctor Doom has built up so much power now alongside Pandora's box that he is literally undefeatable. Iron Man could literally just throw in the towel and construct us a time machine, something, get us back to the Chapter 2 island in some way, a place that is very, very familiar to him, in order for us to escape Doctor Doom and the destruction of the entire world. Now, in order for us to avoid pretty much all conflicts on the island surrounding surrounding Marvel characters, that could be why we're only going through the first three chapters of Chapter 2. Avoiding Galactus completely so that Iron Man has completely wiped his hands clean of everything involving the Fortnite Island, and he no longer has to interfere with anything going on. Now, that might sound like a stretch to a lot of you, but I'm really not sure how any other way explains how we go from a Marvel-themed season all the way back to Chapter 2 OG, besides for Doctor Doom winning this war, and us going back in time is the only possible way to 
to get away. Let me know what you guys think though. I really think that this season is going to be one of the best we've ever seen. I'm super duper excited for Fortnite OG in after this season. So let me know what you guys think. Drop a like if you did enjoy this video. Subscribe to the channel. Comment down below your theories. Use code PROZERYT and I will see you on the next one. Peace.